Ty is our highest finishing Sunoco Rookie of the Year candidate in today's race. He had an outstanding run driving that number three Bass Pro Shop Chevrolet for Richard Childress Racing. Ty, congratulations on a solid run. And what were your thoughts about how your team performed out here today? Yeah, it was uh, definitely a solid day. Um, we needed more of these throughout the year, and hopefully we could have possibly been down there with chases now. But uh, we've had a great year. Uh, this is the day we kind of needed. Uh, we've had a, a couple rough weekends leading into today. Um, Texas, for sure, was, was kind of bad for us. But, uh, you know, it's a, it's, it's a good push going into Homestead, and hopefully we can get our second victory there. But I'm proud of my guys. We worked really hard. We were quite a bit off uh, yesterday in, in practice, in the start of second practice, and, and Danny, the guys worked hard and, and got us in the ballpark. I don't know if we had the speed for the 22 and the 54, but uh, we were right there with Elliott, and uh, we were definitely a third or fourth place car all day. Questions for Ty Dillon. Anyone have a question for our Sunoco Rookie of the Year? Excuse me, a rookie of the race candidate, Ty Dillon. Any questions for Ty? Right here, Reed. Yeah, Reed Spencer with the NASCAR Wire Service. Ty, uh, how how close was that racing with Regan in that that particular juncture of the race? When I think I think there was contact between the two of you. Yeah, I don't. I didn't hit him. He must have ran into me or something. But uh, um, there's a little bit of history there, but. It's nothing, just racing hard. I expect him to race me hard now, and, and I race him the same. So uh, we'll just go on from there. Anything else for Ty Dillon? Well, Ty, certainly you put on a good show this afternoon. You've had a solid season, and good luck next weekend in the season finale at Homestead, Miami. Thank you.